Welcome to another video at the 2023 Florida RV Super Show, also called the Tampa Super Show. Uh, this is a Fleetwood Discovery SLE 40G floor plan. Now see, this is a dynamite, gorgeous drop down tower here. I love the tower, I'm a sucker for red. This is actually called Electra. And you see here, there is a total of six towers, Vapor, Tacoma, Rainier, Castaway, and Amaretto. For me, this seems to be the favorite. And this particular floor plan, you can see right here. Um, this also in this model, the 36H2, 40M, 44B, and 44S models. And as you see here, I, the bay door is already open. And you see here that there is plenty of space in here. There's a little paint button there or something. This has a slide out tray here and the ladder for the rear of the torch is here as well. And here is your drop down bunt, or probably this one has a drop down bunt and two bunts in here. There is another. Now, theoretically, you could put another slide out tray here as well. That's how long this is. Here is your electric bay here your dirt devil central vacuum uh, and your transfer switches here as well and also here is a 30 amp dual power solar controller for your solar sap, uh, solar panel on the roof here's a big storage bay here and here's your magnum 2000 watt inverter and here back here is your additional storage here as well as your leveling jacks, reservoir, and pump. So, as you see here, we have one long full wall slide. I can't be in this drive, the, uh, the door just is this tower. Here's some of the interior options. In this chestnut, graystone, heritage, and winter fog. You can see the, uh, all the other options on fleetwood.com. And here, these tires are 275 ADR 22.5. We're on the Freedom Bridge right now. Let's go inside. Here we have our little mini panel right here of the Firefly system. So you can see here, all these little options here. Right now, we just to make sure the step lock is on. And we come in here and there, we see Marie. How you doing, Marie? I am great. Getting a little hot and sweaty, I'll tell you what, you guys better like and subscribe to some of these channels because we're working hard to bring you this content and I hope that you're really enjoying it. Well, Ben, there's a couple cabinets up there with the technology. Wow, here's a Teen LTE booster. And on the other side, we have a Wi-Fi Ranger and a Vega Touch module, which works with the uh, Firefly system to enable access from anywhere in the world with a Wi-Fi internet connection. I see these cabinets close very easily sideways. Mm -hmm. You got the TV up there and you have a bunk bed above you. So this is an LG TV. We have a little panel right here. This accesses AC motor control and we have our leveling system as well as our wind guard satellite control as well. Mm -hmm. And we got a great system up here, very comfortable to sit at. Nice size screens. We have the all around camera, which we can set down to either side so you can see both sides when you're turning or driving. It's very interesting that this is actually the uh, Magnadyne radio, which all the other ones have the Sony. It's kind of interesting. Okay. Um, but it still has the Freightliner, uh, OptiView, digital dash. Uh, I'm not sure if these things are open. I think that's right. a tubby way up there. But anyway, here we have your Hydaloft, 500 pound capacity. Mm -hmm. We saw the ladder for that in the bay. And this is unusual. Yeah, this is our U-shaped uh, dining room. Very nice, plenty of room to sit down. And that table nice. adjusts up and down. Uh, it one yes, bed. it does. It does yes, become it does. one big bed. Absolutely, yes, that, that's a good sized bed. We have three cabinets up here. They go all the way through. They're so, about, I don't know, about 14 inches deep. Oh, better than that. I'd say... Oh, yeah, maybe. About 15 to 16 inches deep. There you go. Okay, and well, then I across... I have my tape measure on me. And across from there is the refrigerator. 
which is a double door refrigerator. Well, that's beautiful. What's the uh, freezer like? And the freezer is also got two drawers, one in the bottom and a slide out here. Okay. And then we move on into the kitchen area. Look at we have a pull-out pantry there. We do. Isn't that nice? How far does it come out? There you go. And that is a convention microwave whirlpool. And let's slide. What do we have below there? Okay. Well, below here is a induction cooktop. It's indented again, so you convention, have induction or induction. I thought you said convention. Anyway. Yeah, you just want to see if you can catch me out, don't ah, you? Yes, uh huh. And see, this is nice because you have some extra counter space. And well, then, in our case, it wants, to, it wants to lay on top of it. Yeah, right. And uh, over here we have our island pullout, which, let's see. So we have our extra workspace. Nice, nice. And oh, I used that go. dreaded word again. And then we have three drawers, <laughs> about that size, pretty nice. Folks, I just hate using the word nice in videos like these. I like using great or terrific because everybody seems here to is a, nice. Anyway. Here's a wonderful drawer. Nice and long. And below that is your dishwasher. Isn't that great? <laughs> Over here is our sink. And as I said, that is a um, farm style type kitchen uh, sink. And over here we have. So what exactly is a farm style kitchen? That is a kitchen where I duck idiots in that keep bothering me when I'm doing videotapes. So that's a, and this is live, folks, at the moment. Well, it's interesting. You have a little place on the side there for, for holding the for the racks covers, here, uh -huh. the sink covers. Isn't yeah. that nice? As well as probably and the induction look, covers. Six hundred dollar garbage can too. I thought it was it. a five hundred dollar trash can. Well, it has a label on it, so it's a little extra. Well, here's kind of interesting. Here, this big corner cabinet area. Yeah, isn't that nice? With a electric fireplace, and that is a <laughs> that is a. Uh, it's a sound bar. It's a sound bar, but it's not supposed to move like that. <laughs> well, okay, I didn't know. I, so I pushed be, on it and it it's moved. It's supposed to be Velcroed down. But anyway, behind, oh, uh -huh. we have this big TV. This looks like about a 43 inch. Uh, probably grab it from the sides and pull it out. That side, that side. Yep, this side. That side, there okay. We go. Most times they open from the right, but this one opens from the left. And here's some of the electronics. There's some extra space. Look at that up there. The Blu-ray player Definitely. and the HDMI switcher, which allows you to Watch the Blu-ray on all your TVs if you want to. Mm -hmm. And did you get the fireplace? I did. I did. All right. And across from there is your reclining seats, your theater seats. Mm -hmm. Love those. Well, I and love it when I can see the TV right across. That's one of my favorite things. Well, it looks like there's little, what are these little hole things right here? Right here. This is where you put a little tray, I think, right? I think the tray goes in there so you can turn it around. Yes, I don't know where the trays are at the moment, so and we can't demonstrate the couch, it. Behind the couch, this time different. We actually have two cup holders. Oh, behind okay. the couch, although I'm not sure how you would ever use them. That's a good off. discovery. That's a pun, because this is a discovery. Exactly. A discovery and a discovery. Now, this is a nice size firefly panel. I mean, look at my size of my hand. This thing's bigger than my hand. But you, you control all the uh, controls in the coach. You also can hook it up to your phone. To me, I think, though, in all honesty, this is a very poor position in the coach for this. It would probably be better to be over here or it's easily accessible because otherwise who's going to be sitting down on the couch reaching up for this part here? I could just see you doing that. Well, I have long enough arms. Not everyone yeah. has long enough arms. Well, there's two doorways, so we're going to go to the left. And over here we got two bunk beds. And Those are good sized bunk beds. Above each bunk bed is a cabinet. Yeah, look at that. And there's a little light Open and some up outlets. Up. Uh, well, you can probably reach that better than I can. There yeah, that's a nice size cabinet. Yeah, and as we mentioned previously, even if you don't want to use the bunk beds for when your kids or grandkids come, it's really a nice storage space, a desk area if you want to build an office or if you want to customize it and put the dog kennels in here so they're out of the way. Well, they have a task lighting as well as they have uh, all the hooks up top here for a curtain mm -hmm. for all the privacy. And down below, there's four drawers. So you got some storage for the kids' clothes. Okay. And then if you go this way, we're into the one bathroom. I love this look of the shower. That stonework, uh, the tiling is really nice. Ben's going to do the, the test. I think this one's going to be a good one. And, and you can see his head is pretty okay. close to the top there. It's pretty close. But you see, I, I think I actually have more room in our frontiers on this. but. Okay. I also don't have my 
You should, I, you I have shoes my on. seat goes yeah. out about an inch and a half. But yes. There you go. That's true, too. We have the toilet over here next to it, as well as a corner vanity, along with two cabinet drawers. And you know, like I said, if these are too big, you might want to save one for shampoo bottles or whatever. But you could always put a board here and uh, have some extra room in these cabinets. And you got below the cat below is a little bit of storage, and also your toilet holder is in the cabinet. Now, one thing I didn't like that I discovered as we go up into the bedroom, there is a step, and this door is quite narrow. Now, I, I fit with I won't tell you my weight, but I do fit within my B, B, ah, BMI. And look, this door is quite narrow in my opinion. Yeah, everyone else would have to fit sideways. So, anyway, uh, got a couple cabinets up ahead, and let me go over here and see what. It's a giant speaker, I guess. There is a speaker there, and but you can go around it in the back. The speaker's about yay wide, and then there's about that much more space behind it. And we have a little storage area on. Eight, on just, just that one side. side, right? The other side has well, a fake we have panel. a little, a little storage area cabinet underneath here, and plus we have your firefight control here and an outlet, and there's an outlet on the other side. And, and I'm pulling around small. on a bed to show you these cabinets. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel because I'm doing a lot of work crawling around to show you these cabinets and things. Well, on this side, what do we got? Well, on this side, we have a bunch of cabinets. Got some up there, got some here, and you got some, well, this is not a cabinet, this is Brain Central. Brain Central, it's got our circuit breaker box and some AC manual overrides. Okay, over here you have a nice eight drawer cabinet, which is really nice, but it really, um, they're very short cabinets, as you can see from the top. They're short, short cabinets. You know, maybe a foot. Short drawers in the, the cabinet. The top ones are shorter, and the, the bottom three are a little bit taller, but they're all very short. Very short, probably because they have wiring beneath there. Mm -hmm. Over here is our washer and dryer. And finally, we have the full length wardrobe. And it's lit. Looks and like it's cedar lined. This is the that. cushion in here for the uh, front dinette. So you can make it into the bed. Mm -hmm. And it has shoe rack at the bottom. And this is not cedar, some kind of wood. I'm not no, really that's sure. Cedar. Is it cedar? That's cedar. I thought it was, but it seemed thin. All right, okay. well, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, as Marie said earlier. And don't forget to hit that notification notification bell uh, that will uh, is next to our channel name. And once again, we want to remind you to always open the doors to adventures and start all your journeys with the RV keys. Have a great day.